Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So it's been a very bad first quarter of 2023. I am not talking about stock market, even though that's bad too. With the weather being crazy this year and crazy wet, ugh, what are the top sellers of the first quarter? Stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by my friends at Go Sport, the makers of the most premium, durable, and the most organized bags you can get. Introducing their new 2.0 collection. We got the nine pack, my favorite backpack, and introducing a 12 pack. That's gonna be my bag right there. Check it all out and organize your tennis life at GoSport.com. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Brett Z. Brett Z writes, love your show. I think you should do a show on transition rackets from wood to graphite i.e. head, XTC, Ash Competition, T2000, Prince Classic Pro, Rawlings Tiebreaker. Wow, you're a wealth of history. Maybe I should interview you. Vocal Zebra, and my favorite I used in college, Yamaha XFG10. You'll probably need Rob and Dan, but let the youngins try them. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great uh, suggestion. I've done a bunch of those rackets, the XT, XTC and the um, T2000. I've even had them try woods, the youngins. Um, I think they would struggle with those. It, it, it's a different game. It's a different weight and balance. Um, it's a lot head heavier. It's not as easy as it is with the new technology that we have today. But that would be a fun video. Let me see what I can uh, muster up and uh, see how we can uh, tweak this one a little bit. So, Brett Z, thank you for the coffee. Uh, just appeared in my hand again. And uh, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin if you want to contribute to the channel super thanks is the way link is below thank you guys so so much got nicaragua bl blend today it's kind of a medium roast i had house blend yesterday and it was really dry i kind of had a gag sensation um when i was drinking it all morning so i was like what was that and they were saying, yeah, that was house blend. I was like, ugh. It, it, it just, whenever I drank it, it just is just dry going down and gave me dry mouth. If you're a coffee drinker, you'll, you would know what I'm talking about. Um, so we take another slug of this Nicaragua. All right. So as you can see by maybe the outside, it is another wet day. It stormed last night and um yeah has not been a good first quarter for anybody in the tennis world unless you maybe live in florida or arizona or texas or somewhere that's dry and hadn't seen any rain uh, but all the new rackets that are supposed to come out in first quarter is out now so sales have been really slow obviously it's weather related um, in the past, I want to say five years, we've had Indian summers out here in Northern California and now literally gotten five years of rain in three, four months. So I think our usual rainfall is 30 inches per the whole season, which is from November through roughly April. I think we've gotten 30 inches already from till 
from like November to January. I think we're up to like 60 inches. So 30, 60, right? So we're definitely uh, in a lot of high water right now. And that is not good for tennis. But what are the best sellers for the first quarter? Like we've gotten good indication as to what's popular, what people have been requesting to demo, and what people have been buying. Um, let's start over here with uh, the Technofibers and the Yonixes and the Heads. We've gotten actually really good response with the new uh, T-Fight line. Uh, the 300 is lukewarm. 305 is actually doing very well. 315 has gotten a great response as soon as it came out. People wanted to try it. They saw Coach Goo trying it and, you know, they kind of got in. Got a few sales from that. Uh, it's still going to remain kind of that niche players type of a racket. Uh, 305 uh, gotten probably the best response. It's their top selling racket in that line. Um, Prestige is hot and cold. I'll either sell some or I won't sell any every month. It's just that type of a racket. V cores have actually done very well. 95 hasn't done that well in the line, but the 98 and the 100 has done very, very well. Very, very well. E zones 100 and 98 have been exceptionally well for the first quarter. I would say 50 50 between the two in terms of sales. And these remain their top sellers. So Yonex is uh, killing it with these right now. In the headline, obviously Extreme Tour is the tops, the top seller in the whole headline. The booms have definitely slowed down um, with the new radicals out. We've gotten a lot of attention for them. The MP continues to be the best seller here, okay, in the radical line. Everybody wants to try the MP. Everybody wants to buy the MP. There is more traction on that pro since there is more feel, okay? But Extreme Tour uh, leads the pack. Still, Speed MP is the top selling in the Speed line. Um, v Core Pro, hot and cold. Hot and cold. It just depends on uh, that type of player. Obviously, you have to be the type of player to use that particular racket. Um, in the Wilson line, Clash still seems to dominate. The regular 100 is our top seller. Um, Ultra 100, though, is kind of a distant second with the 108 being a very distant third. So there is still a niche market for the bigger head. We did get some shifts. I only have a few left, but um, still people are buying the lighter one. I'm not a big fan, but people do buy it. I still have a bunch of feds left as the new fed isn't quite out yet. So the interesting thing about this new pro staff is that I, like everybody else, thought the 97 would be the best seller. And it is. Like people who are pro staff lovers are like, oh, I'm just going to buy that. I'll buy a pair of those. I'll buy three of those. And, and we have done that. Um, everybody makes the same comment that I do, though. Why brown? <laughs> Why not black? So I'm not the only one, Wilson, okay? Uh, it, it's People just seem to want a black racket on these. Um, the surprise to me, though, is that I've gotten a lot of interest in the 61100. It's the lighter version of the 100 because there is an X2, which is heavier. We like the X, but you guys or the people who come in here seem to want the 100 head in a lighter. So this is 10.8, and um, we've sold 
surprisingly a good amount of these. It's uh, it's interesting that way. The FX 500s have been getting a lot of attention. The Tour has been doing surprisingly well along with the 100. Um, I've gotten that LS out a few times and I've gotten a couple bites. That's my favorite out of the line actually, LS. Surprising, I know. Um, moving on. I know everybody goes, you got a lot of clashes. They sell. <laughs> so, um, since the price has dropped on these to 199 it's gotten a lot more attention and it's gotten a lot of sales. There is not going to be a new version of this this year. It is not getting um, replaced. They just put a 199 price tag on it. Um, and the whole line, out of the whole line, 16 by 19 still sells the best, uh, followed by the team and the 100. So there is a tour, 103, and an 1820. Um, Pure Drive continues to be really, really popular. Pure Drive 98 is one of my favorite rackets right now. And we've sold quite a bit. Still have a few older Rafas in stock. Um, banana, banana teams, and then I have new teams, Argyle teams behind. And obviously we got the new 98s, which everybody wants the VS or everybody wants the 98. So we've got opinions about, oh, I have to have the VS. No, I have to have the new 98. It's kind of a 50-50. People think that there is a huge difference. Is there? When we played with them, there wasn't much of a difference. Um, might have to get my man Dan to shoot a video on that one to see if there actually is a difference spec-wise, okay? Stiffness-wise. And then Selenko has gotten a good amount of traction with Whiteout and Blackout. Um, Whiteout people are usually Strike or Blade users. Blackout are usually Arrow Pure Drive users. So we've sold quite a bit of these you know they're they're kind of like the up-and-coming company i feel like uh it might be babylon about 20 something years ago so watch out for them you know but what what are my top sellers of the first quarter well coming in at number three ultra 100 my third top seller coming in at surprisingly Number two is Blade. Blade has been my second top seller. We've had a ton of kids. Oh, it's boy season and colleges are starting. So a lot of the kids are buying them in twos and threes and stocking up for the season. Um, number one seller in the first quarter is Clash 100. Yeah, there's a reason why I have so many clashes. I sell them. Despite the red color that I'm not a fan of, people still try it and buy it. You know, the weekend warriors are upgrading their equipment. Um, the recreational players that are getting into the sport that's worried about their tennis elbow, it's an easy choice. Um, it, it's an easy playing racket. It just continues to kind of be very unique in its own right. So those are my top three sellers. There's a lot of new rackets on this wall. Um, this the first quarter has been like like a big 360 on this wall. We've gotten so many new things. There are not much there there will not be much coming the rest of the year except for a few things here and there. I just got the gravity and I've actually gotten way more response on this gravity than any other ones. So I look forward to maybe second quarter talking about this a little bit more. All right, guys, 
Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.